is one of the fastest growing economies in the world, also has the second largest population. While the economy shows great promise, a great part of the populace is still under bank. It is important then that this gap be bridged and the financial growth be more inclusive. According to a World Bank report, India is home to 21% of the world's unbanked adults. One important step in this direction is to provide access to banking to as many people as possible. To bridge this gap and make growth inclusive, the Government and the Reserve Bank of India initiated the establishment of Payments Bank with a specific objective of enhancing financial inclusion by catering to the unbanked and underbanked. In August 2015, RBI assigned in principle approval to 11 entities to start Payments Bank in India. And Airtel Payments Bank was the first one to launch in January 2017. A subsidiary of Bharati Airtel, India's largest telecom conglomerate with a subscriber base of over 340 million, Airtel Payments Bank is committed to serve the nation through simple, easy and accessible banking solutions. The Payments Bank are a challenger bank license that RBI has uh, approved a couple of years back. It is an interesting proposal from RBI and a license that we are all very excited about. The Payments Bank landscape is all about allowing companies that have been able to develop a large reach across India to be able to also offer banking services in a low-risk model. The Payments Bank initiative by RBI is a very commendable initiative which takes care of improving the financial inclusion and financial services delivery to a large context of people across India. The Charter for Payments Bank is about leveraging the reach that companies like Airtel and others have achieved and then delivering financial services, banking habits and digital payments to a much larger audience of our populace. Airtel Payments Bank was the first payments bank to go live. We are very excited about providing these services through the reach that Airtel has across the nook and corner of the country. We actually have villages and our customers where the nearest bank branch or access to branch is at least 5 to 10 kilometers away. But there is a retailer who is able to service SIMs and provide mobility services to these villagers within half a kilometer. Thanks to the payment banking license, Airtel Payments Bank is now able to leverage this distribution network and deliver banking services to villagers within this kind of a reach and that's something that we're very proud of. The Airtel Payments Bank has seen very strong growth over the last couple of years. We are looking at a few tens of millions of customers whom we have been able to engage and able to scale up services to deliver over a few million transactions per day. We are working with both rural populace and the urban populace through our retailer network that is supporting our large distribution into retail and semi-urban areas and we are leveraging our digital properties to reach out to urban and semi-urban customers and deliver services to them. One of the key areas we believe that drives success for Airtel Payments Bank is to be extremely technology focused. We believe that we are a fintech company that is technology driven with a banking license that provides the trust to our customers that we deliver high value in a trusted environment. A key aspect of this is to be able to deliver these services with a very high level of performance, a high level of availability and with a success that is normally attributed to internet companies. We look at ourselves as a company that's delivering banking at internet scale. And for this, our technology strategy is moving in the direction of modern technology architectures, which you would find in a typical internet company, which include very high performance microservices, which include large scale data systems, which manage and process data at very, very high volumes. 
To gain an edge over the competition and claim the leadership position, Airtel Payments Bank redesigned their infrastructure model to make banking simpler, more convenient and more intuitive. To be able to manage the high volumes of data and deliver extremely high performance systems, we invest in some of the best technology stacks and uh, infrastructure across the bank. NetApp has been a key partner for us from day one and uh, we've been able to leverage a lot of NetApp services to deliver the high performance systems that we are looking at. Uh, NetApp has been able to provide us capabilities uh, that allow us very high scale performing storage. We've been able to leverage NetApp to get to solutions like cross-colo migrations and stuff which ensure that our systems and their BCP are taken care of very easily. And uh, at the bottom of everything else is extremely reliable and dependable systems that help us manage this kind of data and transactions. With NetApp, we, are, uh, we believe that we are moving towards being a much stronger data-driven company. And uh, thanks, NetApp, for that.